Android isn't the only platform getting some Facebook love these days. The social media giant is releasing an update of its iOS app Tuesday that will contain a pair of new additions, chat heads and stickers. Chat heads is Facebook's newest way of personalizing the messaging experience. It is part of the new Facebook home, which is only available on Android. Chat heads are like push notifications, except instead of getting a simple text notification that you have a new Facebook message, you would instead see a bubble with the head of the person who's trying to get in touch with you. An analyst for Bloomberg says Facebook's decision to make chat heads available to iPhone and iPad users is logical, and the company wants to earn back more of the messaging market share. A company like Facebook looks, looks at what's happening with the popularity of messaging apps and says, you know, how can we link this back to Facebook and benefit from that happening? Sounds like Facebook might be trying to monetize the chat head experience later on, but a writer for All Things D points out iPhone and iPad users won't benefit from the entire potential of chat heads. Unlike real chat heads, which show up no matter what app you're using on a home phone, the iOS chat heads will only work when you're using the Facebook app. So basically, iPhone users won't be seeing too many head bubbles floating around unless Facebook Home gets released for iOS. A writer for The Verge says that won't be happening anytime soon. Getting Facebook Home to work on iOS would require not just Apple's consent, but its active cooperation in making the iPhone more open to companies like Facebook. Cooperation that Apple certainly doesn't seem to have much incentive to provide. Facebook officials have said the decision to bring Home to iOS devices depends on Apple. One official added the social media giant could simply bring some design elements of home to the iPhone. As for the other new element stickers, they're slightly supersized editions of emoticons, which Facebook recently added to its web version. I'm Jim Flink for Newsy, multiple sources, a broader view.